Welcome to Onivia, League of Legends highlights. These are the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Now, neither team seeming to get out too far ahead. Is Razor looking for a play on mid? Yeah, he's driving through. There is the turnaround, though, from Xiaohu. He does uh, have Tarzan here, but the first blood still just comes through, and Tarzan diving onto Razov now underneath the turret, and it's a double for the little tiger. My god! Big tiger yeah, now. This is, uh, yeah. Do have anything that you can do there towards the grubs with the rotation? As uh, Razor may be looking for a play here. Yep, gonna be spotted on a ward as he does make his way in, but there's Jun with the engage. They do a lot of damage and light will be going down. Jun's still gonna be sacrificed, so a one for one in the end, but this might give Fnatic enough time to grab some plates as well. That is just going to be given over. I think the first dragon, not something you ne uh, necessarily need to lose your minds over. 600 gold the lead for Weibo, but I think to go back to what we were talking about in the draft, Monster. this something difficult to deal with, and we'll see about the swaps if they can get it back, but currently Tarzan on the bottom side as we're still a minute away from that second grub pack spawning, and he wants to punish bot. Yeah, there's the bullet time to come through there. Not really doing very much, but Noah still has to use the cleanse. The ignite comes down afterwards. Good sidestep there from at least Noah, but Jun, unfortunately, is going to be left to the wolves. Nice Magnet Storm just to make sure that his Varus is safe, but it's not going to keep him alive as Light gets his revenge. Still massively successful. Uh, they have been able to get Vision, set it up here, so they do still really want to go. I do think that the gold lead that is there for Weibo isn't by itself detrimental, but if they're getting cut, uh, cut of yeah, guard... Razzle does come through, does find the stun into the wall. The Impale comes through, but he was stunned. Not actually going to bring him anywhere and breathe with that ultimate. is keeping himself alive for so long. Almost survives, but doesn't. Gets cut down by Noah. He's going to be traded through, though. Both top laners to go down as Chris getting taken down over and over again. You can see Razzle down low. Jonah as well, just trying to get out the crash down the flash, and Fnatic are out of there. But are they healthy enough to still fight for this objective? I don't know about that. Yumanad, I think, flashed over there. They really needed more kills to make that worth their wow. Oh, Chris, finding the interruption yeah. on the recall. Will be able to take down Humanoid there, and that means these grubs are working. As, uh, obviously, topside was, I think, going to get taken nonetheless with their bot lane already showing towards that bot wave. You can't really fight this top side right now. 3-0 on Chao. I think was okay. Definitely can't give this one up. Yeah, Oscar giving it alone enough, not is it. not going to be enough. Again, six grubs. Yeah, they're just hitting it. Tarzan as well can't it's, give attack speed over to Xiaohu. It is just going to be taken out, and that that's what happens. I think you can't really adjudicate how much damage you're going to do in what amount of time with these six but grubs it, there. It's just not really it's working. Lethality. Noah's been here for forever. It's Lethality Varus. Like, he's trying his hardest, but he doesn't have a lot of attack speed to get through the turret. Yeah, it doesn't quite work. It's Chris taking a little bit of damage there, but not really too much to worry about as Noah finally does get through that structure. This far behind for me is that even though, again, I think that composition is, is a little bit more playable when you are in a deficit because of the oh, CC. Oh, is deep. But do you he have the damage? very far forward as Brief does get through the turret. Let's see how Eclipse is going to work. He taxis out with the Zenith Blade. As now Oscar in and he's trying to make his way and he's teleporting right on top of two members of Weibo. And now he's dashing after Tarzan. Flashes over the wall. Tarzan should be taken down here, but meanwhile, the rest to the fight, the culling comes on through. Oscar and is able to finally take down the Nidalee as Xiaohu dashing through finds that piercing light. But can he get anything oh, more Oscar, as the wraparound's coming through? This could be That's the huge. team fight. Another huge counter strike on the two as Humanoid gets the kill on the misfortune. The damage is falling and Fnatic will find it. It's the reverse Fnatic. They fell behind Just early. Just now, as we were talking about it. And it's still a fair bit of vision available, a fair few traps available here. Uh, so Weibo do understand what's going on, but they will, I think, look to take down this turret first. And let's see where the Fnatic let them. It's another smash on the wall. Oh. Triple impale from Razzle. There's the Counter-Strike as well. He barely needed it. Xiaohu just going to fall crisp immediately afterwards. And the rest of Weibo are reeling. They're going to lose the dragon. They could lose more. Oh, it's and still the there. And Xiaohu <laughs> tried to finish it. Xiaohu has flash, by the way. Crisp has flash, by the way. And they wanted to finish the turret. <laughs> Apologies, Apple. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Okay, I don't think that that one's been coined before. Please let me know if you That's have an any Atlas idea. That's special. <laughs> yeah. But you may be flank or crisp. He needs to stay on point. But as long as the summoners are there for this AD carry, 
think we were going to have a tough time. Is Breathe. Yeah, Breathe is going to find Jun here, but also a few extra friends that maybe he didn't want to hang out with as there's a teleport coming through as well. He is soaking a lot. The Sterix is going to be there. The zoning impale comes through and the culling just tickling Oscar Ennen, who still dives forward. I'm not sure about that one. Shao going to finish him off in the end. Bullet time not doing a whole lot of anything. And the minion wave is there to soak these spears. In the end, it is going to be a one for one. Both top lane is falling down, but Crisp losing his health bar and Tarzan just don't think he can quite do enough here Ooh, going in in that last fight that made me feel good even though it was objectively not a great moment in the fight for Fnatic which is him remembering having yesterday. that killer instinct it's a great thing to see here for Fnatic up against Weibo right now because I think they still need to hold on to that they still need to not be afraid to just go in for these fights find these angles again Weibo can give this up when it comes to the power of the objective but they might feel like they are on a timer brief looking for a flank does get marked by Oscar and not a lot of vision available here. Yeah, Breathe gonna get pushed away. Counter-Strike oh. not really gonna find too much, but Fnatic kind of getting split here as Humanoid off to the side. Doesn't want to have to flash to get in towards a fight here. And Xiaohu clearing out vision over and over. It is gonna be the Drake picked up as Razor. You can flash. see it. He wants to find the angle, but that is a beautiful interruption. And the bullet time coming through as well, gonna soften them up. The piercing with arrow. Lucian, with Renekton, it's a lot easier to get out of possible collapses. For Syndra. Not really going to be the case. Same for Noah. But right now, it doesn't look like Weibo really wants to leverage that possibility. Instead, just again, going for these, looking for the 5v5s. I don't know if that's the way to go against Fnatic, because this front line is beefy. In these last 20 seconds, uh, Weibo have been losing resources with the Jack oh. split push. Yeah, Shahu trying to get in there. Chris with the flash. Zenith Blade does try CP. to get Humanoid out of the fight. Shahu just going to be taken down, though. Noah says no. That is going to be the bullet time. So there's a trade of mid laners now. But Fnatic feel like they still want this fight. And you can understand why. Chris thrown into the blender and will be chopped He's down. Flashing. And they are not done yet. Smacked into the wall is the crocodile. And Breathe just has to slice and dice his the way out. The dragon fight. Yep, comes in immediately here as Razok playing dodge the spear. Game that you're sort of forced into playing when there's an Italy on the field. That is going to be the Ocean Drake being taken down to about half health already here as spears being avoided. Oscar and still just trying to play that front line. And Razok, if he stands in front of his team, it's very difficult to get anything past him. You can see he's so incredibly tanky and that is going to be that third Ocean taken down. And now he's driving forward, finds the slam into the wall. The Impale goes down as well. The Magnus Storm just sucks them all in. And the Renekton in Italy just lying on the floor in an instant. Fnatic actually know that Humanoid getting chunked there was a win for them. Because Humanoid's teleport is not going to have any use in the fight. But the ultimate from Crisp, the ultimate from Light that were used to chunk him out were expended. And so Fnatic have the advantage in the fight. They take the objective, they get the kill, and they're going to take Baron too. Cross map being set up here for Weibo. Xiaohu going for that, but that's... I think all they're going to get, Oscar has been sent over, can TP in case of a crazy Weibo contest, but that's not coming through. And Fnatic, I think the expectations, particularly after uh, some of their previous games, not going to be very high, but what's the... There's so it? much control, and you can see they're playing as if but they have checkmate. They've been playing like that for the last 10 minutes. That could worry some people, but we'll see yeah, how that works about to say out. That, but now comes actually killing the Nexus. And I think first, getting inhibitors, right? Makes it so much easier to play the map. I hear you, you do have, have to do that. There was a, uh, a team that we had that got caught up with the whole in inhibitor debacle. So yes, yeah. you do need to kill those. <laughs> it's, it's, it's a big deal. It is this. a big deal. Uh, Spanatic now just looking for a mini wave in mid lane. Top lane is not really something that they can play through right now, but on mid is somewhere that they should be out of crack at least. Yeah, Oscar should be going back there, catch that one so that they're at least playing on two waves, but they want to be careful. We have been very proactive about continuously looking for these fights. I mean, it, it, from this point on, it is just so easy Ow. for Fnatic. Oh, what? Because yeah, Wa Waymo's comp has just run build. out of steam, and Fnatic have all the advantages here. They have an advantage in split push, they have an advantage in siege, their, their front line is massive. Weibo would have to come up with some miracle play from Chris. But honestly, a Leona ultimate would oh, be their dream or scenario. A crazy flag. Yeah, Breathe looking for that angle. You can see the crocodile making his way in. Chris gonna start up the fight as Razzle just him. a brick wall in front, and they will just choose to kill the Leona. And she's gonna go down extremely quickly. The bullet time not really doing too much. The coloring, culling, falling, following suit, and Oscar oh. dives into that back line. A triple kill, just instantly. That's one heck of a Counter Strike for that engage. Just breathe, not gonna be doing enough here. And Jun just gonna come back, just to help out with these guys as
because Razog is immortal, this Skana is never going to die. At least not for the rest of this game, is now Fnatic looking to push further forward and try to break open this base. And Noah falls, but I don't think he's going to be feeling bad about this one, Kobe. It's Fnatic with the outscale. It's Fnatic with the comeback. Oh my goodness, this was not on my bingo card this morning, but I'm very happy to sketch it in in crayon as these Nexus turrets are falling down and Fnatic on their home turf will not be pushed away by Weibo in game one. Not with that early game composition, they'll move up 1-0 in the series. During a misfortune here for Noah to play the other side of the matchup this time, of course, it's not Avaris being wielded against him. This is Ooh, what Light would- dive into this right now. Uh, it does look like Weibo at the very least, want to figure out what is happening here. Yeah, because they actually want to commit to a fight. <laughs> I like that. Number one goal, let's figure out what's happening here. Well, I, to, be, to be fair, in terms, <laughs> that's of, that's lane, in terms of lane swaps, I do think that's a good call. Are what, they actually going to commit to the level what, one? What's happening here is a level one five on five. So we figured, we figured that's out what's a... happening. All right, we've got a crash down though. His breathe is kind of separated. Does have Counter Strike, probably one of the best abilities for level one in the game. Oscar in, and he's firing these harpoons, man. He's finding a lot of value as well. He's running pretty hot right now, looking for another angle there. Does find the last one. That is, I, I want to see the damage oh, done here. Combo. The only thing you give up is vision of your jungler when you pass through mid, and Weibo looking to punish on that. Yeah, information over to both sides here, as that is going to be Tarzan locking down the blue buff. Gets the crash into the wall as well as Noah's going to come on over. Level three, Breathe taking a fair bit of damage now as Humanoid, he can rotate over as well. They're going Tarzan in! Possibly in trouble. There's the crash down. Crisp taking so much damage, but he flashes to get away. Razok doing exactly the same thing. Noah just standing there looking for someone to hit. As Razok should be taken out, but not before they get the kill on the Rakan. And now Chow, who remember, doesn't have flash. He's stuck. And is now in the Thunderdome, but the rest of Weibo Ooh. are there trying to keep him safe. And it looks like Fnatic will just back away. Good escort. And it looks like both teams said, okay, game number one it was a little bit low action a little bit too slow paced what was it well <laughs> compared to this it was <laughs> well no one's not done. coming on over maybe this is just an extended fight as they will just let the jacks go home that Tarzan, he wants to be able to take this Rift Scuttler, and maybe we'll just have waves being attacked as Jun just... Uh... Yeah, quite nice uh, there for Weibo. Honestly, the player that I had my magnifying glass on from the you know champion select in light on his Ezreal... He almost grabs a second as well here on the side of Weibo. But Nora and Jun just going to try and make this one an honest one, a little bit of an Australian lane swap as the bottom lane moves towards topside. Quite early as well, considering normally this happens to try and get... Oh! Whoa, there's the flash in, the Shattering Strike, and the bullet time comes through, Chris! There was nothing he could do about it. It's now Tarzan looking for an opportunity. For They're not going to be... Coming up with a couple of big engages in this game as well. He was the one who started out the bottom side skirmish uh, for, for their side as well. And it was a little bit of acting, you know, with Razor kind of walking yeah. back the other direction. Razor kind of made them look the other way as Humanoid does get hit with a Shockwave for now. Yeah, Chris going to battle dance forward. No flash from Humanoid, just holds onto it and doesn't actually need it. So nicely done. Equalizer has to be used here towards the bottom side just to try and get Breathe off of Oscar in. it due to the completed items here. Yep, looks like Fnatic will just be able to take this one down. Crisp is going to poke his head in and see what's going on, but Tarzan not in the area, and that is going to mean the Dragon does go over to Fnatic. We've got another Ocean Soul back to back this game. A lot of brushes as now Crisp is going to get slowed down, but it's Rakan. Fair bit of mobility as far oh. as options there. They get the teleport out. Razzle just holds onto the ulti. But now the Magnus Storm still comes in. Bullet time doing so much work as Crisp burning down, but still going to be able to escape. Breathe. And now Breathe on the flank angle, and he finds Jun, takes him out. And that is going to be the second kill in the fight as Razok hits the deck. Weibo, they struck a little bit late in that one, but it he worked out. After acquiring their objective, then Weibo strike and get some extra money. Oh, Tarzan gets over the wall there. Suppression does come on through. Is now Humanoid down to 50% as Light throwing out these Mystic Shots, doing so much work as Humanoid gets over the wall, avoids the rock, but is now... Just like in game number one, Weibo is going to be able to pick this up. Ooh, Oscar, know, yeah, to Oscar take this turret as well. Yeah, has been left to his own devices in the bot lane, so just pushing away. First turret blood to come through. Ooh, John looking for a little bit of a wraparound Ooh. here as all oh, Razok not able to get the interruption on the back. There goes the Rift Herald. Tarzan collects that one. We'll see whether we get an earlier turret take in mid lane this time, as if at first you don't succeed, let's just do it again. As he does get charmed, doesn't quite work out, as Crisp with the quickness finds one charm. There's the knock up, the flash forward into the Impale. Shockwave layered on top. Man, that looked completely unplayable for Humanoid. 
damage as Harold is dropped mid. We do have Brief with a teleport. This time the ward's not quite as good as they were in the previous play. So, Humanoid a little bit far up here as they're trying to get some control. Shattering Strike comes in, another crash down as there's the Equalizer doing Dead. a lot of work. And there goes the Skana, couldn't do anything about it at all. It's Chris, Battle Dances his way out. And the Rift Herald does get a charge, might get a turret, but I don't think they'll get a dragon. Deja Vu? Yeah. I, well, okay, this time it does go down. Okay, yeah, finish, finish. Whew. All right, Breather's in the top lane though, looking to try and trade Dragon for an inner turret. It's going to be a, a large influx of gold here for Weibo if he's able to get it. Especially Ooh, if they get Oscar. a cheeky Oscar in and with it as Jun coming up, trying to keep TP. himself alive. As, yeah, they're taking a lot of damage. Chris going to have to get out of there. The rumble does fall, but I think they'll be trading top lane as it's Breathe looking to get out. That's going to be Noah collecting the kill as well. It's the worst possible scenario. And now Humanoid, he's got some more dashes. Light comes in and Humanoid goes out. But Xiaohu may not Noah. be so lucky. No, it's flashing forward. He's a psycho, but it's working. King as light. I think the, the feeling of trepidation that both of you are experiencing right now is because this still comes down to the next big team fight. Oh, yeah. yeah. It still comes down to the, the next big breaking point here because it has certainly not been determined yet. Well, Chris taking a fair bit of damage here is interrupted. No blast code for you. The equalizer Tarzan? turned down. Doesn't quite work out, but Crisp is already dead. Tarzan getting closed in on him. Breathe. Gonna have to be an absolute hero here, but he's knocked up. The Skarn has taken out Razzle with an amazing flash, but Light is now in the fight, and Noah will be taken oh! out. It's a double. It is gigantic triple now for the Ezreal. Make it a quadra. And Light turns up, and the lights are out for Fnatic. Oh, my God. They're not taking a whole lot of damage at the moment. Immortal Skana seems to be a theme as well oh, in you this know series. He's on vision. He's on vision. Yeah, Tarzan does get himself over. Not going to quite find the stun though as Breathe gets into that back line. This Counter-Strike not quite as good, but Humanoid still going to get taken out of the fight. Another Shockwave on absolutely everyone in that particular area. And Jun going to get taken out in the end. Breathe going to finish him off. And I feel like Weibo, they may have just started this snowball a rolling. Yeah, and that's going to be Dragon denied from Fnatic and possibly then turning everything over towards the Baron area of the map. I mean, it's 25 seconds on both Noah and Razork. Weibo just control the entire map. And that one team fight, really good for Weibo, but not back break. I think this one is. It denies the soul, it further builds the gold lead, and even if Weibo don't end up getting the Baron, which to be fair, I, I don't think there's a lot that Fnatic can do, uh, even if they wouldn't, they would be the first ones that would be able to get the back in, get back out on the map. And at this point, Fnatic wasn't going to be able to contest. And as we see, Weibo pick it up even further, building upon that gold lead. Yep, the Baron is Side. going to be... The secondary tower here really does not stand a chance. Well, Breathe. Probably going to find out that there is a Jun in that brush. So far, he's a bit of a secret agent. Finds a Magnus Storm on to three. The season and assist comes in. The Ezreal has been taken out by Humanoid. Had to sacrifice himself for it. The knockups are beautiful, though. Crisp able to answer back, and Noah gets caught in the impale. I think that Weibo might just be too far ahead. And even though that grand entrance didn't work, it's only Jun trying to clip clop away. That's the beauty of a triple carry composition. Yes, Light gets taken out, but they have more than enough damage with the rest of the members. Yeah, Jun trying to get to his fountain here. I don't know whether he's going to be successful. There's hungry Weibo players, and it's Xiaohu that's able to cash in. 4-0-13 on this Ariana, looking so much better, and Weibo looking to even out the series. Yeah, and they're going to get at least two here uh, in the inhibitors with Breathe immediately after that fight, went mid to push the mid wave, so they got value out of both Baron buffs, pushing topside, pushing mid. They successfully get two inhibitors I off of that fight. Call. All right, because they got both top and mid inhibitors, very easy for Weibo now to finish the pressure, just rotate over towards bottom side, push up the wave. Here comes the siege. Fnatic trying to pull off a last stand here. It's gonna be, have to be an absolute miracle. The Trisha Barrage does go wide. Razzle tried to get in there just to push Crisp away, and he's just not going to even listen to him. There's a flash forward, though. They find the ultimate onto Shahu, but he just goes golden. And now it's Weibo's turn to throw a volley back. The two-man shockwave is beautiful, and Light is absolutely untouched this time around. Humanoid has some mobility, but unfortunately, he's moving only to the death chamber in this instance. Two of these Nexus turrets will be taken out, and Weibo are going to even out the series here up against Fnatic. We're right, and ensure that even if they uh -huh. do somehow get light, there's an opportunity. Uh, I would, uh, <gasps> oh! yes! if, if things are going well pre-6, you're feeling good as Razork might have snuck in here. Yeah, gets behind them. No shattering strike to come down, but now the 
Vault Breaker is good. Light in a bit of trouble. Only level four for Razok as Crisp tries to come round. He's still burning. Oh, no. and Razok flashes underneath and picks up the kill. He's still in so much trouble. The minions gets the. Really leading the charge with a lot of that. But Swain transforms your team fight. Now he's under attack, though. Yeah, does pop that ultimate. Let's see whether he can keep trying to take these health bars. That Demon Flare not going to be working out just yet. Was he also did not use it. <laughs> um, are we still trying to yeah, work out how uh, we feel? Shrunk. And when looking at the CS, we do see Weibo actually across the board doing well as Jun. We'll be able to get the cancel. Yeah, it does just crash down his way out. The flash impale from Tarzan, though. And even though the satchel does go off, it does nothing at all. Crisp is going to be the one, unfortunately, Plates to grab to go it. down for Weibo. This snowball's really starting to roll. Yeah, I mean, the Gnar is absolutely destroying the light's up there. Low. Yeah, this could be a little bit of a problem here. Cease and assist, they just look to go in onto Tarzan. Mega Inferno Bomb does a lot of work. Crash down, so much CC in the Bouncing Bomb to finish him off. And now with the Teleport he's Breeze he's through, there's the Never Moving Lights in so much trouble. Oh, man. Very Shao close Hu. to the minefield, not quite enough. And now Xiaohu looking to make his way in. They he's know. on vision. They have to just all in for this one, I think, as oh, the Comet almost taking down Light. But he should be able to get himself out. Xiaohu, that is a long wrap around. As Noah should be able to get a play they here. Fight this. They're teleporting. Uh, a possible teleport from Humanoid. He's recalling to base yeah, now. Restart. There we go. Yeah. They want to fight this. It's so dangerous. Like, Fnatic's, their circles are online, gentlemen. Okay, and so. Could be very scary. And uh, so, Weibo just going to give it up with the setup there. It's 700 gold. Sweat. I think it was up 300 gold. And now it will be. Tire game. That is going to be secured here as well. So Tarzan will be able to put that one down. That is another turret destroyed. That's another. Yep. So Fnatic, it really now is is a what like three four plays in a row are just are getting get shredded, even if you can drain. So Fnatic, I think they need a good fight. One bad fight and they go in. Ooh, season assist comes down. There's the combo with the Mega Inferno Bomb and Noah locks down that kill and impale to try and pull Razor back, but he's pretty tanky and he's able to get himself out. Meanwhile, a bit of a battle towards the top side, but that is going to be the interruption. That's big to be free and dragon. That should be it. TP towards top side here. Yep, Trisha Barrage From gets Shao a fair bit of information at the same time. Shahu looking to try and get that dive to work out. It should be the dragon going on over, but can Oscar be okay as he dives in? The charm is gorgeous. The flash pretty good, but back underneath the turret they go. Oh, yes. They're surviving for so long. Breathe will be able to tank that last shot, and Shahu finishes him off. Some praying there in the uh, in the audience going on. Fnatic do still get the dragon, but that is, is going to be able to get on top of this blue. Crisp seems to be everywhere this game, and. Now they're just looking to try and defend this bottom, spot, bottom side, but that turret is just gone. Grand Entrance doesn't really do too much. The flash out from Razog, the Mega Inferno Bomb, just to try and get the them out of here. A great position to try and push this one out. I don't R think she's going to be charging into this turret because I think it's an inhibitor that's going to be in front of her. As now Tarzan going to be able to get Noah out of their good satchel defensively, but the inner turret is also going to fall. And it's as if they've got Baron, but they don't even have Baron. They're taking everything down here as the Swain going to have to try and go back, but that is a charge onto an already dead turret. And Shelly will eventually uh, at this point in time. And so now Noah going to have to try and get out of there. The rock is going to be avoided, but Tarzan still looking aggressive. And I don't think there's very much the Ziggs can do about how incredibly tanky Tarzan is. Razok moving towards that top side of Shaohu, chasing after Humanoid. Charm going to be avoided, still taking a fair bit of damage. Vision of Empire, a fair bit of damage there as well, as True Shot Barrage will clip him. Humanoid down to 50%, Razok trying to get in. Jun, he eventually presses the button, and that is going to be a beautiful pullback, but you can see Crisp, he's still able to get out of there. Breathe can tank up for so long because he's so extraordinarily fed, and they're limping Noah. away, but they're getting away. No has to flash, and he eventually gets it. Pretty big Single here. one. As TP, they are full committing towards this dragon, knowing that Fnatic wants to look. They know, but will they be in time? Yeah, can they do anything about it? As you can see, Weibo, I think they're looking for a turn. Fnatic fully grouped, trying to get themselves in there. Oh, that and, Mega Gnar. Yeah, that Gnar bar is looking absolutely gorgeous here from Breathe. Does he have an angle, though? Can he get himself in there? There is the wallop. It does go wide. As now the cease and assist on top of Breathe finds an R under three. As the now Nash. Weibo looking to try and get in. In goes Human. Oh, this demonic ascension is massive. Still, it's Tarzan that's taking down the Baron. But can they kill this way? And he flashes on top of them. And the answer is yes. They can indeed kill this way. Now, Jin, nowhere to go. Tarzan pushing them around. And Fnatic, we're just a bit too far behind. Weibo slammed the door shut on Fnatic's hope. That is a clean ace plus the Baron.
If Razork gets that smite, if Humanoid has a stopwatch, that could have been the difference maker. None of that, though, as Weibo, the confidence... Again, brief. It looked like there was for a second there a chance of him dying, but that man knows his limits. If there wasn't such a big wallet difference, then, yeah. then maybe. Then Fnatic but probably that, could have done it was, a little it bit was there. was really big. But the wallet difference ensures that Breathe survives. And he opened the base, like, what, five, six minutes ago? Or yeah. that bot side push? Well, now these that inhibitors are still standing for the minute. There might be another fight, but look at this raid boss making his way forward. This Nar is more than mega. We need another word. Giga Nar. <laughs> Giga Nar. There we go. It's beautiful. As Humanoid should be able to get rid of this minion wave using the Sith Lightning. Breathe now finds himself a little bit alone. I'm trying to do the math. I'm trying to figure out whether five members of Fnatic are enough to deal with it. And I think we've got enough tape to say that maybe that is debatable. As Chris now helping on a bit of an angle here. Cease and desist going to be used here. Razzle gets himself in. They look for Breathe. They get him down low once again. And finally he falls. But at the same time, it's a triple for the Ezreal. Make it another quadra kill. And you stop thinking about trying to kill Light at your peril. As four lying on the floor in an instant. And Xiaohu just trying to keep Noah out of there. These Nexus turrets are next on the menu. And Weibo Gaming will keep themselves alive here in the Swiss stage. And unfortunately, we have to say goodbye to Fnatic. These were the best highlights from today's Worlds 2024 matchup. Click that subscribe button faster than Ramus can say, OK. See you on the next one.